Hey guys, Moan Pobera here and today I'm going to show you how to financially analyze a company. This is the second part and the second video in this, um, in this topic. So make sure you watch the first one first and I'll, I'll see if I can post the in the description below the video to the first one or just look in my, my list of videos. Um, don't be lazy, just search for it. Um, so yeah. The, the, this is the video is all about the financially how to financially analyze the business that we're talking to. Remember, I'm assuming that you're talking to business owners, you're receiving financials, and what do we need to look at? The, how do we look at the numbers right now in order to make an offer on the business? How much can we make an offer for, etc., etc.? Um, really, really, really important that you watch the first video because I'm basically going to continue uh, from the first one. So make sure you go and watch the first one now, and then continue with me in this one. And remember, like this video, um, comment below, um, subscribe, let me know what you think. Let me know also in the description below, there's a survey, just click the link, put your details because I want to hear about your biggest question in regards to this space of buying and growing businesses. And I'll create personalized videos for you. I just need ideas for topics because I'm uploading literally daily now. So make sure you fill the survey below and I'll basically show you, uh, I'll create a video for you in the future. And also see in the description below, there's a link to a free mastermind on Facebook, all about just business buying. Um, very, very good people in there. Uh, click the link below for that as well. Okay, so I'm talking about business financials now, right? So we get the numbers. The first thing you wanna look at is the business profit and basically understanding how much the profit the business is making. And I'm not talking about how much profit you think the business will make when you buy it, I'm talking how much it's making right now, or ideally pick an average of the last three years. So if it made um, X in the first year, you see what I mean, right? Take the last three years, take the three profit numbers and do some kind of an average. That would be the ideal number to work with and to start your calculations with. Um, and yeah, let's, let's continue from there. Now, as soon as you have your profit or basically your pre-tax profit, your EBITDA, and again, you can work with different numbers. That's the numbers we decide to work with. Just the simple, simplest way to value your business, right? So as soon as you have that number, just pick a multiple of how much you're willing to offer for that business first. Um, obviously, do your research, look at different uh, acquisitions in your sector and pick a number of how much are you willing to offer and just write it down. And I'll, I'll get to the details in a bit. But again, do your research on how much you're willing to pay for the business and just pick it right now as the number. Now to that number, what you want to do is to add or deduct, uh, basically to add assets or to deduct long-term liabilities. So if you have, let's say an additional $1 million in cash in the business, you want to add that to your calculation and same go for long-term debts, deduct that from that number. And that's the next step. Now the number that you have right now is basically the number that you believe the business is worth and the number that you are going or need to pay for the business based on the offer that you'll send in, right? So that's the number you have. And obviously that's not the number that you need to pay all 100% cash at closing, but that means that this is the number you'll need to pay um, some at closing and some over time. But overall, that's the number, the, the full price that you pay for a business. For that number right now, you wanna add three numbers. One of them is fees, then working capital, then the money that you wanna to take to yourself at completion of the deal for just working on that deal. So use those three numbers, add that to your number right now and just do your calculation. So again, you want fees and fees I'm talking about accountants, lawyers, uh, advisors, all that stuff. Um, I'm talking working capital. So how much more money do you need to have in order to uh, sustain the business or co continue to grow the business obviously depends on on your business plan and all that and then the third thing is you want to have ideally some kind of a number where you're going to take home at completion because you worked so hard to do this deal ideally you want to you want to take some fees at closing for yourself and your other partners so what you did so far is basically you calculated the total amount of funds and capital that you need in order to buy that business and remember, I'm talking overall, that doesn't mean that you're gonna pay everything in completion. And that doesn't mean that you're gonna to need to take all that money from your own pocket, right? So as, if you followed me so far, make sure you have that number and let's continue with, with that. So now your next question is basically, how do I pay for 
that acquisition, right? I know how much I need to pay. How the fuck do I pay for it? So you have few options. One of them, you just bring all that money from home, from your pocket. You can do that. Second thing is you raise money from investors. So private individuals, institutions, all that. And I'm talking equity capital. And the third way is debt. And debt can come from financial institutions by borrowing against the business assets or it can come from basically the owner um, borrowing, uh, I guess, some uh, part of the acquisition. So basically seller financing, right? So three ways to finance that deals. And, and let's even dive in even a bit more into that. So in this video, I'm going to mostly focus on how do we do those deals if we only do 100% leverage buyout deals. So for example, we just want to use the business assets and we want to leverage them um, to pay for the acquisition costs. So how do we do that? Where do we raise the capital from? And the answer to that is that we raise the capital from the business assets. So we have on the balance sheet, you have things like real estate, accounts receivables, inventory, equipment, sometimes uh, real estate, did I say it? I don't remember, but all the assets that you have on the balance sheet, right? So those are the assets that we're going to look into in order to raise the capital to pay for the acquisition cost that we calculated um, just a minute ago, right? So use the assets, raise capital based on those assets and pay for the acquisition. So how that works? So let's say we have million dollar in assets. Um, let's say obviously it depends on the type of assets. Let's assume that you can raise 50% on those assets, right? Let's say you have $1 million in assets and you can raise 500,000 um, from those assets. That number, is the number that you can now use to pay at completion for the business. Um, now, obviously, it depends on how you calculated everything, how much you need for fees. But let's say you have 500,000 that you raised and then you need to calculate with yourself how much fees you need, how much working capital you need, how much um, capital you want to take home. That's the number that you can pay at close into the business. The rest of the amount, so let's say you need to pay a million dollars for a business and you have 500,000 that you can raise. The rest of the 500,000, you need to pay over a period of time. Now that can be over one to as many years as you want, but your only goal now is to make sure that the business cash flow can cover the yearly payments for that basically remaining uh, amount. So yeah, and when you have that number, pretty much good to go and make an offer. And remember, your only goal is to make sure that you have something to pay at closing based on the capital that you raised, either from the business assets, investors, your own money. And the rest of it, you got to make sure that the business can cover and pay. Obviously, there are more involved in there to make sure that you have the right uh, ratios and making sure that you have enough capital to pay the debt and still have enough capital to sustain a business. So you need to, uh, I guess, do more calculations there. But for now, I want to keep it simple and make sure you know how to look at basic numbers, how to make offers and how to make sure that the business can cover the rest of the money that you couldn't raise. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you find it useful. Remember, if you have ideas for videos you want me to cover, see in the description below in the survey. Um, just put your details and I'll create personalized videos for you. Um, join the free business business buying mastermind on Facebook. It's absolutely free. You just need to put in your details there. And um, yeah, get in touch below. Um, if you have any other questions, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. I really want to know if this type of videos are helping you. If you like this way of, of content where I'm diving a bit more into the exact details and nuances of a deal. Um, so definitely let me know in the comments below what you think. Like the video, help me share this um, channel. I love those comments, those engagements, guys, it, it, it keeps me going. So keep them going and uh, I'll see you soon.